So today's lesson is on angle measure, but before we jump into talking about angle measure, we just need to talk about the pieces of an angle. So I'm just gonna draw an angle and I'm gonna name some important things about this angle. So this is angle A, B, C. You will notice that the vertex is in the middle of the name of the angle. That is a quick way to identify a vertex of an angle from the name. You will also notice that angle ABC is made by ray BC and ray BA. If you remember, a ray is an endpoint with the opposite end going on forever. So when you think about a ray, the point of the ray, the first letter that we name is the point. The second letter is the letter that the ray or the arrow continues on forever. Does that make sense? So B is the point. C represents the line portion of that, the one that goes on forever. So it extends forever. Um, opposite rays have a measure of 180 degrees. They have a common end point and their sides extend in opposite directions. So we could call this D, E, F. We could say that angle D, E, F is a straight angle. That means it has a measure of 180 degrees, but it also means that ray E, D and ray E, F are opposite rays. Um, the sides of an angle are, of course, the rays. Angles are made up of rays. Um, an angle bisector is a ray that cuts an angle into two congruent angles. Okay? So, those are some definitions. I know it's kind of all over the place, but we're gonna look at example A and we're just gonna name as many things about this example as we can. So we're going to name all of the angles that have B as a vertex. So the first thing that we can say is this angle right here. That's angle A, B, G. And we could also name it as angle G, B, A. Either one of those are correct, but it's the exact same thing. So don't get all caught up on naming it a million different ways. Just it's either one or the other. Now remember, we're finding B as the vertex, so B has to be in the middle, okay? We also have angle A, B, D. Angle A, B, D. We could also call that angle D, B, A. I'm not gonna rewrite it. You guys get what I'm saying there. Um, we have angle A, B, E, angle A, B, E, which is a straight angle because that makes a straight line. And this angle, angle A, B, E, could also be called angle A, B, F. Okay? Let's see. We also have angle... Have we named this angle? E, B, G. Angle E, B, G. And that angle could also be called angle F, B, G. Um, we have this angle right here, angle E, B, D. And what's another name for that angle? Thinking, thinking, pausing for effect. Yes, angle F, B, D, okay? So those are all the angles that have B as the vertex. Um, let's name the sides of 
I think that says angle five. It's on the next page. Name the side, not because it's weird, because it's an equation. This note actually says, you, you guys have the printed notes, but it says name the sides of angle five. So the sides of an angle, remember we said our rays. So the sides of angle five, I'm going to erase this so we can see, because I've colored all over it. So angle five is right here. This is angle five. So the sides of angle five are ray B, G, and ray B, E. Or you could call that ray B, F. You do have to make sure that you put the ray symbol over your ray. Um, I saw today some homework assignments when I was checking homework. You guys are not putting segments over your like segments, you're not putting lines over your lines, and you're not putting rays over your rays. You have to do that, it's not negotiable, okay? Is this angle right here. I'm drawing it in red. So angle six has sides ray BD and of, oh, it doesn't. All right, question number three says, write another name for and that should say angle six because this is an equation. This was written in an equation writer and then I turned it into a Google Doc. It didn't pick up the equation. So I'm gonna go back to that picture. So angle six, F. So ray BD and ray BF. But there's another name for ray BF. What is it? Thinking, thinking, thinking. Yes, ray BE, okay? All right, so we're gonna talk about types of angles. So a right angle has the measure of 90 degrees. And we identify right angles by that little tiny red square there in the corner. An acute angle is any angle whose measure is less than 90. And an obtuse angle is any angle whose measure is greater than 90 but less than 180. And any angle that is a straight angle, I said that earlier, if it's a straight angle, that means that the measure of the angle equals 180, okay? All right, so we are going to um, measure, thank goodness you guys have printed notes. So we are going to measure angle T, Y, V, and we have to classify it as right, acute, or obtuse. So here is angle T, Y, V. Now there's something very interesting about angle X, Y, V. I don't know if you can see it, but it had a right angle in there. Um, and I know that this right here is a straight line. So if this is 90 degrees, then this is also 90. So angle TYV is a right angle. Let's look at the next one. What about angle WYT? So we're gonna look at the measure of angle WYT. So let me do some erasing. So angle WYT, well, I know that this is a 90 degree angle right here, but WYT is opened up more than that. So that means it's greater than 90. So the measure of angle WYT, well, that is obtuse. So that is an obtuse angle. If we were to guesstimate the measure on that, um, I'm not gonna pull a protractor out and neither are you, but if we were to guesstimate the measure on that, I would say that it's probably about let's say 130 degrees, maybe 135, okay? Our last one, number three, we are going to measure angle T, Y, U. So we're gonna measure it and we're gonna classify it. Well, measure T, Y, U right here. This is this guy. So this is measure T, Y, U. So um, I know that TYV is 90. TYU could be half of that, like maybe 
ray yu is an angle bisector, we could guesstimate that. So if that were the case, we could say that this has about a measure of 45 degrees. Again, we're not gonna pull out a protractor and try to do any measuring, but could you classify that angle as right, acute, or obtuse? Well, it is acute because it is less than 90 degrees. All right, let's keep moving on. So wall stickers of a standard shape are often used to provide stimulating environment for a young child's room. A five-pointed star sticker is shown with vertices labeled. We are going to find, and I'll write what we're finding because it didn't show up again. So we are going to find the measure of angle G, B, H, and the measure of angle H, C, I, if angle G, B, H is congruent to angle H, C, I, and the measure of angle G, B, H equals 2x plus 5, and the measure of angle H, C, I equals 3x minus 10. Well, here's the thing. I know that angle G, B, H, angle G, B, H is congruent to angle H, C, I meaning that this measure is congruent to that measure. If their measures are congruent, or if the angles are congruent, that means the measures are equal. So that means the measure of GBH, which is 2x plus 5, has to be equal to 3x minus 10. So we're going to solve for x, plug back in, and find some angle measures. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, and I find out that x equals 15. So the measure of angle GBH, H, 2 times 15 is 30, plus 5 is 35 degrees, and the measure of angle HCI is 3 times 15, or 45, minus 10, which is 35 degrees, and that's what we needed because if they didn't come out to be equal, we would have been in trouble, okay? So our homework is on page 41 of your textbook. Um, you are going to do 24, actually, that's not right. You're going to do 12 through 18, all, 24 through 29, all, and 37 through 42, all. And this is actually typed in your Canvas module, okay? So I want to remind you, this has been on the Canvas calendar since Monday, but you will have a quiz tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, Friday, when you come in, you will grade your homework, um, and then you'll take a quiz. Your quiz will be on Canvas, so it'll pretty much be mostly multiple choice. It's not going to be super tough, but I just want to see if you're paying attention to the little things that I'm saying in our lesson, okay? So um, good luck. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to message me. Thanks.